I'm cutting off a lot of the branches that would not be needed, so the energy will go into the right branches where I need them. Hi, I'm Milton Chang of Bonsai Heirloom. I bought this Japanese black pine. I suspect it's called the Arakawa variety. Some of them will have corking. Some of them will have turtle shell appearance. It is overgrown. I, I pruned it back severely after I bought it about a year and a half ago. I severely pruned it either November or March this last year, uh, in a sense of uh, either three, three or uh, either six or nine months ago. And uh, you can see it's grown tremendously because I uh, use the liquid fertilizer, fish and kelp, and uh, that helps. So uh, it's a bit out of shape. And so what I'll do today is to describe how I reshape a uh, more mature, in a sense of a, a show-ready uh, Japanese black pine uh, to keep it in shape. Uh, this one actually has some degree of corking, so it's really a nice tree. Uh, I suspect it's in the, um, I would say a 50-year-old time frame. A 35-year will be short, 50-year uh, will be right. It's probably a little bit older than that. So let me uh, start to cut this off and start to show you uh, what I will be doing. I was told the previous owner is uh, trained in Japan uh, bonsai, and he uh, became an expert in tr tr trimming people's uh, house trees uh, to prune them in shape. He has many, many nice old, old trees also, they are fairly overgrown. He doesn't like to cut them. So I have to cut them quite severely in order to, uh, to get it to shape. So now it's growing vigorously. I have to do it again. And I have to be cognizant of the fact that I have to be somewhat brutal uh, in uh, uh, shaping the tree. My original thought is that keep this branch. He likes to do these drooping branches on the side alongside of the, um, the trunk. And then, but I need to maintain the triangle. So I have to keep in mind, I want to ma maintain the irregular triangle. So uh, let me do both, starting off uh, with the top. Although um, the top, like for example, I can cut off this whole amount and you see the tree is now eight inches shorter. This is really, really way too tall and I'll let these grow up to become a part of the apex. So that's in fact what I'll do, which is a little bit sad that it's such a big branch is being cut off. But you can see immediately the tree is a lot shorter, just the irregular triangle going this way, and then come out, and then that goes to the back. Okay, now to study the top fairly carefully to see what I, where I want the apex to be. And you can clearly see this tree is coming up this way. You want this one to be the apex, that little branch to become the apex. So I'll do a little bit of cut off this a little bit more cleaner. Tremendous amount to be cut off because it grew so much. So this will be the come the apex and these were branches going to the back. So you can see this is going up, this someday may come down, and this will come down. Uh, that's how you form the triangle. And then uh, this branch can go back this way. I'm cutting off a lot of the branches that would not be needed, so the energy will go into the right branches where I need them. And you can see this branch, the design, is to come down like this and keep going. So I want to maintain that design. This one will be going this way and this will be coming down this way. I'm just thinning off as much as I can uh, to force the growth into the area that's desirable. There's so many butts coming out to go every other direction. This is branch coming down. I'm cutting it a tremendous amount off to create this natural curve that could have been done by wiring, but this is a lot more natural. That that's the way the tree wants to grow. And the one thing good about this tree is everywhere you cut, uh, it will shoot out right underneath of it. You can see now this branch is coming out nicely uh, going to the side. See, this one will go out this way. 
Look at that, how beautiful this little branch is. When it, when it comes out, it will really be gorgeous. Uh, that's the little vignette that catches your eye, uh, the interesting curves. Look at this, this part. Right now it's a mess, but if I cut it, like this branch is going back, it's a shame to cut off a big branch, but you have to do what you have to do. Now this part is opening up, you can see what's happening. And then I can now capitalize on these growths uh, to uh, get it to the shape that I want it. And every branch has to rhyme with every other branch to have the uniform kind of a feel. So when you look at it, it's very comfortable. It's not like, oh, how come this is so weird? Like this is now, you want the tree to be like this, and yet this one is coming this way. So you cut it off, you know, you uh, cut it off where you want the turn to be and let that branch grow. Let that branch to become the uh, top of that branch uh, the, or the beginning of that branch. Like, see, for example, this one's coming out, it's doing a little turn. So you say, okay, I want to capitalize on that. Now you have a tree that has a turn, a turn right here and you don't want this to grow, so you cut it, right? You don't want it to branch out that closely to this, so you let that grow out before you cut it to branch that way again. So this is a good angle, but you cut it, see? Oh, you, this is okay. Look on this branch on the top again. You can see the idea is this branch is coming down like this, and to complement this tree goes like that. This one comes down like this. Uh, very poetic, so I need to maintain that look. These are really wonderful tree sticks because they branch so much to give you the design opportunity to get it to go in the direction you like it to be. You just gotta know what you're doing with it. Very brutal. I'm not hacking the tree for the heck of it, uh, but rather is to get it to the shape ultimately I want it. So like this is coming on this way, I want that one to go that way. So I need to cut it to, to do that. In conclusion, today I take this uh, auction tree that's way overgrown. I've been fertilizing it well and uh, repot it into a bigger pot. Uh, no, same pot, but I changed the soil a little bit. And I, it was so overgrown that you couldn't see what's going on. And it's got so many branches, I can cut it anywhere and it will uh, branch out to, uh, to do what, what the vision, to fulfill the vision I have. So. The tree was about this tall. I cut it to make this the apex. So this will go up and this will come down and this will come down. But you see what I done is that I cut off the branch to make a turn. And there's a theme to it, the way it turns. It's like saying, that's the, nature, that's the way this tree grows, which is not true, but that is the way the tree grows. But I shape it to go the direction I want and the shape that I ultimately want it. I think this will be a very respectable tree. If I had my treaders, I would probably like to put it back in a growing pot, hopefully make this trunk this big, and that would be really spectacular. But BSA may not every tree has to have a big trunk. Uh, this looks good. Maybe I should put it in a kind of a Bunjin style pot. And one other thing I'd like to do someday is if you look at this tree, Look at this tree, this part is so, the root is so good, but this part is kind of like got into this side. So what I think I'll do is I carve it 
to make it become part of this tree, this could very well be fused. So the tree can be like coming here and then come this way. And if this dies off, then this is also a natural branch uh, root going back. Uh, so these little fine tuning I would do uh, over time to show you how you refine the tree until it look good. Uh, this tree will look pretty pathetic because I cut it and all these little spots will turn uh, brown. But then it will shoot out uh, with the multiple candles to fill out the, uh, to make the pad. And I think this is a really quite an interesting tree. Maybe I'll do a little bit of like this. This tree is coming down like this. This is going like this, this, and this is the triangle, irregular triangle, right? So this is the uh, uh, finish, well not finish, I should not use the word. This is the, uh, the tree one step closer to being a display tree. Every part is pretty, for example, I can make this into a little shohin, a small bonsai, that would be beautiful. I can make it into this, it would be beautiful. I can make, keep it the way it is, it would be beautiful. Very nice tree, I love it. Uh, I'm fortunate to uh, come across that at an auction. Please click like if you think this video is informative. I know a lot of people are interested in pine trees, so tell a friend about our channel and subscribe to our channel and also uh, send us your email address and so we can keep you informed of trees that's appropriate for you uh, in the future. Thank you very much. I'll see you next week.